Welcome to The Shed. I'm Sid, Mackie's on the camera. Today, we're gonna to be learning how to wrap road bike bar tape. This tape is so cool. I am pretty jazzed about my oil slick bar tape. For this task, you will need electrical tape, scissors, possibly rubber mallet, bar tape, which probably came with bar ends and tapes, end tapes, final tapes, tapes of last resort. So the first step is to admire how cool the color of your bar tape is. Whoa. Bar tape is like a great place to accessorize. <laughs> I am pretty jazzed about my oil slick bar tape. We'll, we'll put a link in the description, Sid of course, in case anyone else wants to go ham on the oil slick like me. Sid loves <laughs> oil slick. She has oil slick pedals. Her bike is all sparkly and beautiful. I feel like people like to like make fun of oil slick, but I will say when I have oil slick pedals on my bike, everyone comes up to be like, it's what true. are those pedals? Where did you get your pedals? Where can I get them? <laughs> so the first thing we are gonna do is grab our electrical tape or sticky thing of choice and make sure our cables are solidly secured to the bar in a nice out of the way place. And when you're replacing bar tape or putting on bar tape, is a really great opportunity to replace old cables and housing if you haven't done so in a while. They pretty much got these along the bottom. I like bottom better because it makes your bars not as fat on the top, but it's personal preference. I accidentally once did it where it was on the front on one side and on I the bottom of the other. It, it was the really uncomfortable. Just make sure they're okay. the same. Really, I don't think it matters how you get your cables taped to your bars. It just matters that you do it. You could use electrical tape, oh, you could yeah. use, like somebody had obviously used office scotch yeah, tape no, on this do bike. The, do it in the corner, because oh, it's yeah. sort of the corner and then right near the end of your where your bar tape's gonna be. Those are the places you Pardon. care about. Scissors. All right, the housing is taped, and now it's time to tape the bars. There are a lot of different ways to do this. Some people probably have very strong preferences one way or the other. I find this to be easiest. It's also a good balance of like not using too much tape and having like big bulky parts, because like there's the figure yeah. eight but it's weird and really bulky. And then the other way is like that things are rotating the wrong direction. So this is a good balance. The first thing we're gonna do is take a little piece of bar tape. You can take it from the end or an extra bit and cut it. So basically measure it from where the handlebar starts there to where the handlebar, or it's, sorry, what is this even called? Where the lever starts here and where the, the lever, the hoods end over here. I think the most important thing to kind of wrap your head around for bar tape is the direction you want the tape to be pulling. And for me, what is very helpful is to just visualize being on the bike. You would rotate your hands out to get more, to put more force into the bars while you're on the drops. And if you're on the normal handlebar bits, <laughs> the top, We've started at the bottom, now we're at the top. <laughs> you're going to like imagine if you're on a really steep climb, you're gonna be rotating your wrist backwards to kind of like drill force into the bikes. In the drops, outward, the on drops, the top, backward. Back. Basically, you want the tape to be going with you. To me, like talking about clockwise, counterclockwise, like really doesn't help at all. <laughs> but maybe Mackie could translate. If you're on the right side, which Sid is, looking at the bar from the back, you're going to wrap it clockwise. Yeah. On the left side, you'll be counterclockwise. We know we're going to be going out. So we're gonna start and we're gonna leave a little bit sticking out the end. Yeah, do it on the bottom so that if you get messy, screw up the plug, <laughs> you can't tell. You do wanna be pulling kind of tight, especially at the beginning. Of we're gonna grab our plug end. We're gonna say a quick prayer. <laughs> Just kidding. To you don't bar. need to do that. I'm gonna get down look it in the eyes. I'm feeling stressed with the camera on me. I mean, I decided to change my mind. I decided to go over here. <laughs> you're doing exactly what, what you think you're doing and you're trying to squish all of this under there. And you're gonna give it a whack. If you need a rubber mallet, that's the moment I didn't need the rubber mallet. Damn, I'm getting good at this. See why you should do it on the bottom is because there's like yeah. a little, and you just don't see it, it as much if it's on the bottom. There, it... We are wrapping, we are pulling tight, lining up, putting the sticky part on the bar. It's really not too bad. I feel like bar tape is kind of 
like really scared me for a long time because of worrying about running out of tape at the top <laughs> and having to do it all over again. But then you don't usually is the thing, especially not doing it this way. Like I feel like some of the like crisscross applesauce ways, like you use a lot more tape. Sorry, it's dark guys. Daylight savings time has happened and we didn't know it was coming. We behaved in a manner to indicate as if we never could have predicted this event. Okay, so right around here is probably when you wanna grab this piece. So let's just zoom in on this. Sid sticking it right at the edge of the hoods on both sides. And like, don't stress if it's not really sticking because the tape is gonna be holding on. This is the part that I feel like I have to rethink like every time I do this, but it's really not hard. This is your last section before the hood. Okay, so you're gonna pull nice and tight, get it right up under there so you don't have any unforeseen gaps. And then you're gonna come up and over this way while making sure that you're tucking in. Basically, like you're going over, over your little side. extra piece of tape. And we're also going over the extra piece here. So see, it's nicely tucked. You may have noticed that by doing that, we switched the rotation of our tape, which is relevant because we want to still be tightening, pulling tighter across oh, the top. Yeah, you would, because right. if the bar were like stretched out like a noodle, yeah. like if you could do that, it would have right. switched. Okay. Yeah. So that's why. This is the best method. Sid and I as mountain bikers, <laughs> this is definitely like one of those tasks that we were like scared of. And every time we had to tape it, we'd be like, oh no, we better go watch a video and like figure out how to do like it. It's gonna take forever yeah. and da da da. And then we finally like did it a couple times and thought it through and like figured out the by theory. By we, you mean me. <laughs> <laughs> by we, I mean Sid. <laughs> Mackie's still like, I really don't, like, can you tape my bars, honey? <laughs> and now she's really good at it. And so now she has to tape my bars for me. <laughs> this tape is so cool. I feel like we generally try to cut it in the bottom. Try not to cut any of your cables while you're doing this. Assuming your bar tape came with a little tape thing. If not, then you could just use electrical tape. And sometimes I feel like we use electrical tape to kind of like clean it all up anyway. Or if it's not sticking well. Yeah, sometimes this one actually I was fairly pleased with, but I feel like we've used other brands of bar tape where it's just like, was simply not sticky. You wanna wrap this the same direction yeah. that the tape was going so that you are continuing to tighten it. Then the last thing you're gonna do is flip your hood covers down. You can see here, there's this thing that's gonna fall oh, into yeah. there. And no, it's stretchy enough yeah. that it'll just stretch down, it's not a big deal. But if it, for some reason, like weirdly pops up there, you can just cut it slightly. <laughs> Dang, that, that stuff is so it cool. It kinda looks looking. ridiculous, but I'm, I'm here for it. You yeah. like it? I like it. This is how to tape your bars in one minute. Start by taping your housing to your bars to keep the lines in place. Most people prefer to run them under the bars, but you can also run them in front. Just make sure they're the same on both sides. Flip up the hood covers to get them out of the way. Then cut two small pieces of bar tape to cover the hood clamps and set them aside. Starting on the underside at the end of the drops, begin applying bar tape wrapping to the outside of the bars. On the right, this will be clockwise, on the left, counterclockwise. Make sure to leave a bit of bar tape sticking off the end that you will insert with the bar plug. After a couple times around, pause and insert the bar plug, making sure to catch the end of the tape that you left overhanging for a nice finished look. Continue wrapping until you're one wrap away from the hood. Apply the small piece of bar tape that you've set aside to cover the hood clamp, then wrap the bar tape around one more time. Now pull the bar tape up the inside side of the hood then over the top of the bars. Make sure there are no gaps on either side of the piece covering the hood clamp. Now continue wrapping the bar tape going behind, then under, then in front of, then over the bars until you reach the end of the tape or a point about one inch from the stem. Trim off the rest of the tape if necessary, then apply the finished strips wrapping them the same direction as the bar tape. Flip the hood cover back into place. Now repeat the process on the other side, applying the bar tape in the opposite direction. 